Excellent. This is a uh, 50 years old female uh, with this complaint of severe tenderness and pain, vomiting in this region, this region the right type of body. And uh, uh, she has, uh, I don't have any lab profile, detailed clinical history, nothing. So we, uh, we have to do it at our own and let's see what is the pathology and the cause of her problem. Now let's see on the other song. She is a 50 years old. See, I'm a very good father. It's a dad. 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 Okay, she is tended to probe in this region as well, which is a positive birth sign. Here we are, straight away in this region where you are seeing in the initial uh, part of the study, I see a globular structure in transfer section which becomes longitudinal, uh, giving a 90 degree sweep. I do see water vein running at 90 degree angle to its neck region. This is the water vein, this is the common bile duct. And you know common bile duct always runs anterior to the water vein. And this is the neck of the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder impact. Now we will study step by step. This is a case of empyema gallbladder. With uh, this is, you see the internal area. This is full of thick sludge. If I expose this area, now this is the fundus of the gallbladder. This is the anterior wall. The wall is not thick. This is the posterior wall. This is the clear lumen, and this is the thick mixed echo of material, ecogenic material, seen filling almost three-fourths of the gallbladder, which is a sludge or pus, keeping in view that. And this area, which is black, is a clear wire. And the gallbladder is 12.5 by 5.3 centimeter. Yeah. Print. Yeah. And this is this is all called See the interior wall. No. This is the adjacent liver. <coughs> and. Uh, By anchor 0.5 centimeters by 5.3 centimeters. See that this wall, anterior wall, is thin, and that measures not more than 2.8 millimeters. Normal should not exceed more than three. So at least uh, uh, the wall is uh, not thick. There is no fluid around the anterior uh, wall of the gallbladder. Now in transfer section, this is the full transfer section of the gallbladder. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this is the wall of the gallbladder. It is not thick, number one. It is intact and we can see clear bile along its anterior. And this is the mixed echo thick sludge within it. And it, the gallbladder in transfer section measures 6.4. Now, this is a dilated or distended 
gallbladder. Why? Because uh, the normal is that the gallbladder should not exceed more. This is the transfer section of the gallbladder, and the gallbladder in transfer section should not exceed more than five centimeters. If you see the gallbladder exceeding more than five centimeters, it is a confirmatory sign that uh, the gallbladder is distended. So, a distended gallbladder. Secondly, the uh, length of the gallbladder should be less than that, uh, that of the uh, right kidney. Now, but we saw that the length of the gallbladder was approximately 130. Now let's see what does the kidney do. This is the kidney of the patient in longitudinal section and the kidney measures 11 centimeters from pole to pole and uh, the kidney is smaller than the gallbladder. This is also considered to be one of the signs for the distension of the gallbladder. Now, uh, let's first study the gallbladder and then we will move further. Now you can see that there is a calculus also. This is a calculus, 10.5 millimeter calculus with sharp black posterior wall shadow. So there is a gallbladder calculus as well. There is no focal mass, however. Now, we, after having uh, studied the gallbladder, let's move to the uh, other area of study coordinates, which is the measurement of the common bile duct. What is the status of the common bile duct? This is the portal vein, this being the gallbladder. This is the portal vein, this is the, uh, sorry, this is the portal vein and this is the common bile duct and the common bile duct measures 6.5. Normal should not be more than 7, so the gallbladder, uh, so the common bile duct is not dilated and uh, it's within normal. Its walls are regular, its lumen is clear, so there is no evidence of it. Uh, sorry, dilated uh, gallbladder. This is common by duct. In a gall descended gallbladder, we can fly with it. And full of sludge, from almost full of sludge. With uh, clear, thin wall, anterior wall of the as you can see, I am asking the patient to the patient to turn towards the left lateral distributor's posture. She is quite fatty. To see the status of the rest of the liver and uh, to rule out if there is any evidence of intrahepatic pyrotechnic bacteria. Now these are the front teeth. This is the liver. Liver is uh, normal, almost normal. is not doing any significant uh, change. Outer surface is uh, regular, smooth, homogeneous texture, normal echogenicity, the common bile that we go away, the tap frame, and uh, no evidence of uh, intrahepatic bile that the kidney in the right row at least. This is the kidney. Uh, I am intentionally not giving you the, the few pathologies uh, in the kidney. Now, we always compare the uh, kidney with current time of the kidney with the liver to determine whether the liver is normal or not in its epigenicity. So now if this is the liver uh, kidney and then this is the liver, you can see that the eco 
density or brightness of the liver is more as compared to the normal uh, right kidney than time. And this is considered to be normal. There is no evidence of intrahepatic bile abdactasia, no dilation of the intrahepatic bile duct, so the liver is uh, seen below postural margin. This is perfect. Now I am sitting the probe below the postural margin and I can see the liver below postural margin. So the liver is minimally alive. For the liver, for the liver. This is the left lobe of the liver. This is the ligamentum venosum. This is the IVC and this is the corded lobe of the liver. Yes, fine, okay, normal. Liver is an no doubt. This is the region of the foot and the fetus. Let's see if uh, what is the status of the pancreas. Very important. In all cases of gallbladder diseases, one should see the gallbladder. Must see the gallbladder to rule out any any uh, you know, evidence of pancreatitis mainly. Now you see, as uh, the age advances, we know the uh, the the pancreas becomes fatty. So here we are, you see a fatty pancreas in transfer section. This is the pancreas. Okay, this band is the head of the pancreas in transfer section. This is the saplenic vein. This is the superior mesenteric vein. Here you are seeing the gallbladder with internal thick echogenic area. So there is no pathology relating to the gallbladder. Sorry to the uh, pancreas. This is the head of the pancreas. Let me show you. When the patient is so thick and uh, fatty and uh, has so much of a bird, that there is a sound of that patient is a nightmare at a time. However, this is the aorta. This is the head of the pancreas. Yes. This is the left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section. So the IVC is long. This is the IVC, ligamentum venosum, corded lobe, or segment one of the liver. Now the we don't see any intrahepatic pyridectasia that of the vessels in the left lobe of the liver. Here the, I am showing you the transfer section of the left lobe of the liver. The liver is definitely seen. Now I am going to give a switch to the probe below the postural margin and I can see the liver tissue below the postural margin. Why we can see the gallbladder straight away and this region is because the, uh, at the region of the right hypochondrium or below the mid, uh, mid, uh, mid uh, subcostal region is because the gallbladder is distended. There is uh, no evidence of that uh, aortic plan having a fatty as well. Uh, 
a ver si hay un paño que es Goldberg. Okay. 